catch it. <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Play with me, Mommy. Okay. <laughs> you guys are having fun, I see. Daddy, what did you buy? Did you buy something for me? Let's see. I have carrots, potatoes, squash, lettuce, peppers, and onions. Oh, here's something for you. Caillou didn't know what it was. It looked like corn, but the greens had all sorts of colors. Can I eat it? <laughs> no, that's for decorating, Caillou. It's corn that has been left out in the sun to dry. We'll put it on the table for our Thanksgiving centerpiece. And we have a lot of preparations to do. We better get to work. Caillou wanted to continue playing in the leaves. But it wasn't much fun playing Yay. alone, so he decided to help with the Thanksgiving preparations. Why are you crying, Daddy? Because Mommy made me cut the onions, and they make me cry. <laughs> I don't like onions. Here, Rosie. Would you like to help, Caillou? Yes. Here, you could break this into small pieces for the stuffing. Caillou liked to help Mommy and Daddy cook, but he wanted to go out and play with Gilbert even more. Bread, bread, me too! Caillou! Here, Rosie, you have to make little pieces, okay? No, Rosie. Mommy, Rosie is eating the bread. <laughs> Are you hungry, Rosie? I'll fix you something else. Caillou, where did he go? <laughs> I want to play too. Hey, there's too much wind. Let's play in the house, Gilbert. you are. Can you help me by setting the table, please? Perfect. Isn't it pretty? Honey, I can't find the peas. I'll be right there. Do you think you can finish this on your own, Caillou? Caillou didn't really want to set the table anymore. He was distracted by the colorful centerpiece that Mommy had created, but he felt that it wasn't quite perfect yet. This should go on top. Oops. Oh, no! Apple! Give it back, Rosie. It goes on the table. No! Apple for Rosie. Oh, no, Caillou. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Why don't you finish setting the table and I'll pick up the rest later. Then you could come and help us in the kitchen, okay? Caillou was beginning to feel like this was a lot of work. Here, why don't you put these in the basket for me? I don't want to help anymore. But Caillou, Thanksgiving is a special day to be thankful for all the good food we are so lucky to have. That's why we all have to help to prepare a big feast so we can sit together and give thanks. And we also remember how very lucky we are to have such a wonderful family to share all this good food with. Here, taste this. Mm. Oh. Grandpa and Grandma are coming over later to share Thanksgiving with us. Oh, look at the time. We can just make it if everyone helps out. I can help. Caillou understood that Thanksgiving was a special day and he wanted to help Mommy and Daddy prepare the feast. And besides, all that food smelled so good that he was beginning to get a little hungry. Gilbert, it's not time to play now. I have to help Mommy and Daddy. I can help.
help Mommy decorate. Good idea, Gilbert. Look, Gilbert. Everyone will have a leaf. Even you. Kaya was very proud of having decorated the table for Thanksgiving supper. And with the leftover leaves, Caillou had an idea for a game. Gilbert, no! Grandma! Grandpa! They're here. Oh, and the table's not set yet. I set the table, Mommy. Oh? Thank you, Caillou. Happy Thanksgiving! Mmm, that turkey smells wonderful. Come on in. Hello, Caillou. Oh, what's this? It's my game. You have to follow me and step on every leaf. Caillou was very proud that everyone was following him and playing his Thanksgiving game. He was anxious to show everyone his special decorations that he had placed on the table. What a beautiful idea. Everyone has one. This is a nice surprise, Caillou. You did a wonderful job. Are we all ready to have a feast? Yeah. Rosie hardly ate anything. That's because she's been eating all day. Caillou has been a great help. Right, Caillou? Uh -huh. I caught you sneaking a bite. <laughs> Gilbert loves your pumpkin pie, Grandma. And so do I. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Caillou beats the heat. It was a hot, hot summer day, and Caillou was getting ready to go to the swimming pool. He had a hard time getting his water wings on, but he was sure his flippers would be much easier. Now all Caillou needed was his swim goggles and his cape. What's this? A duck wearing a cape? No, it's me, Caillou. Whoa, better wow. take those flippers off. You might trip. I'm going to wear them on my hands <laughs> instead of my feet. Can we go to the swimming pool, Mommy? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. We can't go to the pool today. Why? Daddy and I have a lot to do around the house. Caillou was sad. He really wanted to go swimming today. Swim! 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 Rosie wants to go swimming, too. Oh, we'll try to go tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to go today. Gilbert's hot, too. He's got no water. Gilbert drinks juice. Mommy, Rosie's throwing her juice. Caillou, don't clean up juice with your beach towel. I just wanted to help. I'm going outside. Don't forget your hat. Oh, and Caillou, don't forget your sunscreen. But it's so sticky. You need it. The sun is very strong today. And it's hot, too. Well, here's something to keep you cool. Thanks, Mommy. Caillou couldn't help laughing at how silly Gilbert looked. 
But he was still sad about not going to the swimming pool. You're hot! And sticky, too. You need a good washing up. And cooling down. <laughs> the sprinkler! You set it up, and I'll turn it on. Okay! Nothing's coming out, Mommy! You... <laughs> you tricked me! <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Jump in. So Caillou found out that you can have just as much fun in your own backyard. I don't know about Gilbert, though. <laughs> Come on, Gilbert. Jump in! <laughs> Backseat driver. Caillou was looking forward to going to the restaurant for supper. soon. Daddy, I'm hungry! Rosie hungry! I know. Mommy's waiting for us at the restaurant. It won't be long. Ow! Daddy, Rosie broke my car! I'll take a look at it when we arrive. We'll be there soon. with Rosie, and he was hungry and hot, too. Both of you, please stop. Look, we're moving again. <laughs> oh, no, what now? Daddy, I'm scared. Everything's going to be fine. I'll go take a look. Just great. <laughs> Caillou felt bad that Rosie was scared and wanted to make her feel better. Okay, Rosie. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? When are we going to see Mommy? First, we have to wait until the tow truck arrives. It shouldn't be much longer. He's going to tow us to the garage. Okay, folks, we're all set. Are we going to ride up there? No, you're going to ride in the truck with me. Have you ever ridden in a tow truck before? No. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You'll see. How's it going back there? Are you going to fix our car? No, I just tow him. But you'll meet my dad at the garage. He's the one who fixes him. Your dad? Yep, like it says on the side of the truck. Sullivan and son. I'm the son, Jack Sullivan. I'm Caillou. My daddy doesn't fix cars. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that your dad knows how to fix a whole bunch of things. and a hammer in his toolbox, too. Really? 
And he can't fix a car. <laughs> Can you fix my car? Won't be a problem, son. I'll have her up and running in no time. No, my car. Rosie broke the wheel. Why don't we let Mr. Sullivan do his work? We'll fix your car later, okay? Okay. Daddy, Daddy, I'm hungry! In a minute, Caillou. I have to call Mommy first. I'll get you a snack, Caillou. I want a chocolate bar. Oh, did I press the granola bar button by mistake? I'm sorry, Caillou. Can I press the button? Make sure you press the right one. After having heard from Daddy, Mommy was happy that everyone was safe and sound. Oh, hello. I'm not used to seeing you dining alone. Where are Caillou and Rosie? They'll be joining me later. They've been held up. Hmm, what do you recommend this evening? Uh, Mr. Sullivan? Down here! All done, Caillou. Your car's all fixed up. Daddy's car is fixed. But mine is still broken. Mr. Sullivan, would you mind if I borrowed a few of your tools? Not at all. Help yourself. Aha. Exactly what I need. Caillou was happy that his daddy was able to fix his car. He loved helping daddy fix things. Was the garage fun? Yes! We got both of our cars fixed. Both cars? My car was fixed too! Lost and found! Okay, Caillou, remember what I told you. Keep your eyes on the ball. I got it! That's okay. Just take your time. Hey! Give me my ball! Come back! Daddy, help! He's got my ball! <laughs> gotcha! He has a collar, so he must belong to someone. Well, we've looked a long time, and no one seems to know whose dog this is. He's all alone? He must be lost. He's a scruffy little guy, isn't he? Scruffy? We could call him Scruffy! Oh, could I keep him, Daddy? Please? I'm sorry, Caillou, but this dog probably belongs to someone who misses him very much. Huh? I'll tell you what, though. We can help find his owner. How's that? Okay. Caillou was sad. He wanted to keep the dog all to himself. Hello? Anybody home? Who's this? I found him. His name is Scruffy. He was lost in the park. I thought we could help find his owner. Why don't you two take him outside and clean him up? Time to rinse him off. <laughs> ah, look out! It was time to look for Scruffy's owner, so Daddy decided to take his picture to put on a poster. 
Smile, Scruffy. Perfect. Now we just have to make copies and buy some dog food on our way home. What if no one calls Daddy? Can I keep him? We'll see. Taking care of a dog is a big job. Hello? Yes? Uh-huh. That's him. Great. See you then. That was Scruffy's owner. She saw your poster and is coming over to pick him up. Rocky! She's been so sad since we lost Rocky. I'm so glad you found him. It was Caillou who found him. Right, Caillou? Do you have a dog? No, but I have a cat. His name is Gilbert. Really? You're lucky. I wanted a cat too, but my dad is allergic. Time to go, sweetie. I'm so happy you found him. Thanks for taking care of Rocky for me. Even though Caillou was sad that Scruffy was leaving, he was very proud that he had helped. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> Gilbert! Holiday magic! <laughs> Caillou loved looking at all the Christmas lights in his neighborhood. He was very excited because today he was going to visit Santa. What are you drawing, Caillou? A picture for Santa, so he'll remember what to bring me for Christmas. That's a great idea. What are you going to ask for? Caillou was having a very hard time deciding what to ask Santa to bring him for Christmas. What about a toy car? Caillou finally knew what to ask Santa for. When are we getting a Christmas tree? Today, right after Dad finishes up his work. He could hardly believe it. Seeing Santa and decorating the tree all in the same day. Caillou, <laughs> we're going to put decorations on the tree, not on you. Where's Daddy? I think he's still on the phone. He'll be out in a minute. I'll go get him. Daddy, hurry. We're going to see Santa. I'll just be a minute, Caillou. You're tracking snow into the house. Caillou was very impatient to see Santa and wanted Daddy to get off the phone. Okay, thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Come on, Daddy, hurry! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. You know what? I think I better go to the bathroom first. Go fast, Daddy! <laughs> this is a switch. I usually have to wait for you. I'll just be a minute. Caillou, wait for us! He was very excited to go and see Santa. Caillou! Daddy? Caillou was afraid to get on the escalator by himself, and Daddy was already on his way up. It's okay, I'm coming down. Daddy looked very funny walking down the escalator going the wrong way. You're right. The up escalator is only for going up, but I had to come and get you. Clementine! Hi, Caillou. I'm going to tell Santa what I want for Christmas. Me too. What do you want? I want a new doll and a jump rope and an oven so I can make my own cakes and cookies and maybe a new teddy bear or a big fluffy dog. What are you asking for? Thing. Caillou wasn't sure if he should ask Santa for more, but all he really wanted was this one special thing. Watching Clementine with Santa, he was suddenly a little nervous to go up and ask him for what he wanted. Go on, Caillou. It's your turn. <laughs> What's this? A picture for me? I love getting pictures. Did you write your name on it? Well, then you'd better tell me your name so I don't forget who it's from. Caillou. Ho, 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 ho. 
This is a beautiful drawing, Caillou. Why don't you climb up here and tell me more about it? Caillou was very happy that Santa liked his drawing. And he didn't feel shy anymore. <laughs> Why, this looks like a dinosaur. Yes, it's a dinosaur that walks and talks. <gasps> you mean you want a real dinosaur? <laughs> no, a toy dinosaur with batteries. <laughs> Phew! I don't have many real dinosaurs at the North Pole, but I think I just might have the kind that you want. Yeah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Caillou! Caillou was happy that he had asked Santa for a dinosaur. And who's this? Rosie's my sister. Rosie? That's a beautiful name. And what would you like for Christmas, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie's a little scared, Caillou. I think we better wait until next year. I'm going to bring you something special for Christmas, Rosie. Bye, Caillou. <laughs> Have a merry, merry Christmas. Caillou was proud of being a big boy and not being afraid of Santa anymore. Where are the trees, Daddy? Sorry, I just sold my last Christmas tree to that family over there. Look at my tree, Caillou. We're going home to decorate it. Bye! I want to decorate a Christmas tree, too. I'm sorry, Caillou, but there are none left. There you go, kid. If you come back tomorrow, I promise I'll have the best tree waiting just for you. I want! I want! So, I'll see you folks tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to wait for tomorrow. He wanted to decorate the tree today. Mommy, Daddy, look! What on earth? <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou didn't want to be outside. He wanted to be inside, decorating a Christmas tree. Why can't we get a tree, Daddy? The man said he'd have more trees tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to decorate the tree now. You know what? Maybe we can. Really? Why don't we go inside and get that box of decorations? We're going to decorate us a Christmas tree. Have a tree inside? Of course we can, sweetie. Caillou thought he was the luckiest boy in the world. Santa Claus was bringing him a dinosaur, and he was going to have two Christmas trees. Ready? Wow! Caillou thought it was the most beautiful tree he had ever seen. You're getting to be a big boy. excited because he was going to the zoo with his friends. Daddy, Daddy! I'm going to see the monkeys, Daddy, and the lions! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Look at the time! Leo and Clementine will be here any second. We better go and get you ready. There. Now, are you sure you don't need to go to the bathroom? Maybe I need to. We can't go to the zoo. I'm terribly sorry. 
But Billy has a terrible toothache, and I was wondering if I could leave Clementine and Leo with you while I take him to the dentist. Sure, no problem. Can you take us to the zoo? I'm sorry, sweetie. I just can't. I have a lot of work to do, and so does Caillou's daddy. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine were disappointed that they couldn't go to the zoo. I'm sorry you can't go to the zoo today, but you'll be able to go another day. Why don't you come outside and play? We're bored, Mommy. Well, if you're not going to play, you can help me with the laundry. <laughs> Look, I'm a zebra. <laughs> and a very nice zebra you are, too. Clementine's a zebra, Clementine's a zebra. <laughs> zebra, zebra! Hey, maybe you don't have to go to the zoo after all. It looks like there are wild animals right here. Now, I wonder what kind of animal Leo is. Roar! I'm a big bear! Roar! <laughs> what about me, Mommy? What can I be? There's only socks. Well, I'm not sure, really. Let's see if we can think of something. I fixed the dryer, honey. What's the matter, Caillou? I want to be an animal like <laughs> Leo and Clementine. Hmm, that is a problem. Let's see if we can solve it. Clementine's a zebra, and Leo's a bear. Bear! Bear! But what can I be? Turtle! Turtle! Well, there's an idea. Would you like to be a turtle? <gasps> yes! Okay. Hmm. You'll need a shell. I need this. Caillou knew the laundry basket was perfect for making a turtle shell. Look! I'm a turtle! I'm a turtle! Roar! Roar! <laughs> 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 Caillou scavenger hunt. Mommy, wait! What is it, Caillou? Help me with these. Caillou had some new craft supplies, and he wanted Mommy to help him make something with them. I don't have time right now. Julie can help you later. I want you to help me now. Caillou was not happy. He didn't like it when his mommy didn't have time for him. Almost ready. Is Julie here yet? I want mommy to help me. Mommy and daddy have to go out now. Mommy doesn't have time to play. We won't be gone long, Caillou. Besides, you like playing with Julie. Hi, everyone. Hi, Julie. Come on in. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Hi, Caillou. Is something wrong? Caillou was too sad to say anything to Julie. But it didn't take Julie long mm. to figure out what was wrong. What have you got there? I want to make something and I want Mommy to help. I can help you if you want, but I also brought a great game for us to play together. A game? Where? Right here. Where? Right here. It's all the stuff we need to have our very own scavenger hunt. What's that? In a scavenger hunt, you have a list of things that you have to find. What list? It looks like you're going to have lots of fun, Caillou. Bye now. Hmm. Now it says here the first thing we have to find is a feather. I can't wait to see how we do. Can you? To be really good scavenger hunters, we need to be ready to think a little. Caillou wasn't sure he understood what Julie meant. He was still figuring out what a scavenger hunt was. For instance, where do you think the best place would be to find a feather? I don't know. Where do feathers come from? Do you remember? Birds! Good thinking, Caillou. And a lot of birds live in the park, don't they? Look, Julie! 
Yes, I see them. Now, if there are birds up there, chances are there will be feathers down. I found one, Julie. I found a feather. Well done, Caillou. Let's keep all our scavenger hunt items in here, okay? Caillou was really enjoying himself. He could hardly wait to find out what the next item was on the list. It says an acorn. Where do you think you would find an acorn, Caillou? Here's a hint. Acorns come from oak trees. Oak trees have leaves that look like this. Me too! Look, Julie! Good for you, Caillou. See, I told you that you and Rosie would like this game. I found everything and Rosie found nothing. But you never know what she might find. Now, what's next on the list? Something purple. Hmm. Caillou looked all over the park. But none of the things he found were purple. Until finally... Look, Julie! Something purple! Well, it is purple, but I'm afraid it belongs to somebody else. We can't really take it with us. <laughs> purple! Good hunting, Caillou. And good helping, Rosie. <laughs> The next thing on the list is a bobby pin. I think that means it's time to go back to your house. <laughs> a bobby pin! <laughs> Oops! Hey! <laughs> it came out by itself! <laughs> well, Caillou, I suppose that's one way to get something on the list. But the next thing we're looking for is a bottle cap. And don't bother looking for one of those in my hair, because there aren't any there. <laughs> okay, Julie! Let's think. Where would a bottle cap be? I got it! Way to go, Caillou! According to my list, there's only one more thing to find. A bell. Now remember, think. Caillou could hear a bell, but he couldn't see one. He began to think maybe it was coming from upstairs. Caillou followed the sound of the bell all the way to Rosie's room. The bell! Uh, I need it, Rosie! Caillou, do you think you could tell Rosie why you need her teddy's bell? Rosie, can I have the bell for our scavenger hunt? Hooray! You two got everything on the list! Hooray! We did it! Caillou just couldn't wait to show his mommy and daddy what he and Rosie and Julie had done that afternoon. You know, it would be nice if there were some special way we could show your mom and dad all these things you found. Caillou thought about it, and soon he had an idea. Great idea! Rosie and I will help. Hi, Julie. Hi, Caillou and Rosie. Did you have fun on your scavenger hunt? Yes! Look! So, Caillou, you got to do a scavenger hunt and make a craft, too. Aren't you glad you had Julie to play with today? I want her to come again lots, Mommy. Will you bring a new game next time, Julie? Yes, I will, Caillou. I love playing games with you and Rosie. Too many cooks. Caillou was waiting for his babysitter, Julie, to come and look after him. He loved it when Julie came over. Still no sign of Julie, Caillou? She's never been this late before. Well, I left messages everywhere, but I couldn't find another babysitter. 
I'm sorry, honey. I guess we won't be going to the wedding after all. Hi, Mr. Hinkle! Caillou liked Mr. Hinkle very much, and suddenly it dawned on him that Mr. Hinkle would make an excellent babysitter. Do you want to babysit me, Mr. Hinkle? Me? Babysit you? Really? Mommy, Daddy, Mr. Hinkle's going to babysit me. Caillou, I'm sorry, Mr. Hinkle. I really didn't mean for Caillou. Don't be silly. I'd love to. Faster, horsey! Faster! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about a snack, kids? Can you bake a cake, Mr. Hinkle? The last time Caillou went to visit Mr. Hinkle, he was baking a cake, and Caillou really wanted Mr. Hinkle to bake another one of his delicious cakes. You really liked my cake, didn't you, Caillou? But since I won't be cooking in my kitchen, you're going to have to help me, okay? You can wear Mommy's apron so you won't get dirty. Hmm. We need three eggs. Can you get those for me, Caillou? Now we need some butter. That's great. Now, do you know where your mommy keeps her pots and pans? I'll get it. Mrs. Martin. Hi, Caillou. I heard your mom needed someone to keep an eye on you today. Mr. Hinkle and me are making a cake. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hinkle. I'd love to help. What can I do? Very good, Caillou. Now we have to add the most important part. Chocolate. Hi, Caillou. I'm so sorry I'm late. Wow, it looks like you now have three babysitters. Hi, Julie. Are you here to take over? Well, I guess I'll get going too, Caillou. But you can't leave yet. You have to stay and eat the cake. Caillou was proud that he had helped bake the cake. And he was very happy that he had a lot of people to share it with. This is delicious, Caillou. Mr. Hinkle and Mrs. Martin helped me, but it was my idea. I think Rosie's enjoying it, too. Hello, we're back. Oh, hi, everyone. We came home early because we thought Mr. Hinkle would need some help. We're having a party. I can see that. And you have cake. Look what we brought you. Mommy, but ours is much better. <laughs> <laughs> the Berry Patch. Come on, Caillou. We've got to get you ready to go. Yay! Are they here yet? Any minute. Here, I packed your bag. Caillou is very excited. Today he was going strawberry picking with Clementine's family. Hi, Caillou. Ready for our big day? Come on, Caillou. Time to go. Um, Daddy? Caillou was not quite ready to go. He had something he had to do first. I almost forgot Teddy. All set now? Have a nice day, Caillou. Daddy, can't you come too? Not this time. You're Clementine's special guest. We'll be back before supper. Clementine and Billy were having fun playing together, and Caillou felt a little left out. Why don't you two play a game with Caillou? I know. Let's play yellow car. How do you play? It's easy. The first one to spot a yellow car says it out loud. This sounded like a fun game. Caillou stared outside and looked around. Yellow car! Let's play red car now. I see one! I see one! I see a red car! I win! And I see a red strawberry! Look! Wow! wow. Looks like we're here, kids. Caillou had never been to a strawberry field before. He thought it looked like any other field. He didn't see any strawberries just yet. I think it would be better if Teddy stayed in the car, Caillou. Why? I always bring Teddy. 
Teddy will be fine here. He'll be waiting for you. Besides, you'll need both hands to carry your basket. Okay, kids. I want you to wait right here while I get some baskets. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's race. First one at the end of the row wins. Come on, Caillou. Caillou wasn't sure if he should since Clementine's mom told him to stay put. But he didn't want to be left out of the game. Go! wasn't hurt, but when he saw his knee all red, he wanted his mommy. Oh dear, what happened? Let's have a look, Caillou. You were supposed to wait for me. Let's see. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> look, Caillou, you're not bleeding. Are you all right? When Caillou realized he wasn't bleeding, he started to feel much better. He wasn't hurt after all. Look, you fell on a whole bunch of strawberries. Where? See, you pick them like this. And you only pick the red ones, not the green ones, because they're not ready. So, let's get started. Here, each of you can take a basket. I'm going to fill my basket first. Oh, yeah? Well, I bet I could find the biggest strawberry ever. Caillou was very curious about the strawberries. He loved searching for the red ones that were hidden under all the leaves. They looked so good. Mmm, yummy. One for Daddy. One for Mommy. One for me. One for Rosie. One for me. One for Teddy. And so, Caillou picked and picked a whole bunch of strawberries. But his basket wasn't filling up very quickly because he kept on eating them. Come on, kids. Let's take a break and have some lunch. Okay, but did you find the biggest strawberry ever? This one's big. What about you, Caillou? Uh, I, uh, I wasn't finished. I won because I found the biggest strawberry in the whole world. Let me see, Billy. Wow. Billy, did you take an apple from the picnic basket? Cheated! <laughs> Lunch is ready. Come and get it. What's wrong, Caillou? You're not hungry? Caillou wasn't very hungry because he had eaten a lot of strawberries and his tummy hurt him a little. Oh, I see you've had plenty to eat already. Well, you can always eat later. But from now on, why don't you put the strawberries in your basket instead of your tummy? Okay? Here, Caillou. Teddy will help you feel better. After a little while, Caillou's tummy felt much better. He had his lunch and was just finishing up. Do you want some juice, Teddy? Are you sure you're feeling okay, Caillou? Maybe we should head back home. But Caillou wanted to stay and pick more strawberries. He wanted his basket to be as full as Clementine's. But my basket isn't full. Mommy, I want to stay. All right. You can pick a few more strawberries before we go. There's no more room, Caillou. Here, Teddy, a strawberry just for you. <laughs> and that's how Caillou spent his first day strawberry picking. 
He loved it so much that he couldn't wait to come back again. 